All right, are you guys ready for the simple and easy recipe? You do not need to run to the grocery store if you're out of almond milk, if you're just tired of buying almond milk and not knowing what's in it, and you can make any flavored um, milk you want You can by using any nut butter. So here's what you need. Your favorite nut butter, two cups of water, vanilla, and for the sweetener you could use dates, you could use stevia, you could use agave nectar, honey, whatever you like as a sweetener or no sweetener, and a little bit of, um, I have here, pink Himalayan sea salt. I've got my Blendtec blender. Watch how simple this is. This is two cups of filtered water. Put that right there. In. This is great. This is a carafe that I get at um, Crate and Barrel, and it comes with a cap that you can just toop and put in the refrigerator. Love these. Very inexpensive. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our almond butter, and a nice thing to do is just get a little bit of the oil on your measuring spoon. That way the almond butter won't stick so much. Watch this. Mm, yummy. Two scoops of your favorite nut butter, plopping it in there. Hope you guys are doing well. I know I haven't been on my YouTube channel in a while, but I'm back. Sometimes you just need a break, right? Can you relate to that? I hope so, but I'm back because I missed everybody so much. All right, we've got two, that was two tablespoons of your favorite nut butter. We're gonna do a half a teaspoon of vanilla, because we're making vanilla almond milk. Boop, splashing it all over. Pinch of the Himalayan sea salt. I know it's salt, you guys are like, oh my gosh, salt? Yes, this is a special kind of salt. It has over 90 trace minerals in it and your body needs trace minerals. Trust me on that one. Today I'm gonna be using my Stevia, this is by Sweet Leaf. This is actually vanilla cream. I like a lot of sweetener. I actually have almost half a dropper in there. And you can always adjust it to what you like. Uh, that's it. Look how easy that was. We're going to turn the blender on. Here we go. And that's it. We're done. We have vanilla almond milk. It is all blended up. This will keep in the refrigerator for you know, a good five days. That's why I only made two cups of it so you can uh, make a fresh batch as you need it because you can see how easy it is. Look at that beautiful, I'm gonna go over there so you guys can see this. You see how beautiful that is? It's nice, it looks just like the almond milk you get in the store. Mm, smells delicious. You can use this in your smoothies. I'm just gonna drink it plain here today over some ice. If you really want a nice creamy consistency like whole milk would be, you could add in a tablespoon or two of coconut butter, which you can find at any of your health food stores. So that's it, that is your really less than two minute homemade nut butter milk. Look at this one. I was going to make chocolate milk with my chocolate hazelnut butter, but I guess you can figure that one out. All right, everybody, enjoy. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Share the video with your friends. Let's get them all hot and healthy together. And I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers. Oh, gosh, that's good. All right, bye-bye.